k 5 4 3 2 1 well, thank you for coming today to follow this uh, presentation. Cannibal hacking from zero to hero to hammer smashed host. Yeah, that's the that's the title. Let's start with a bit of presentation. Uh, first, uh, I'm a ninja at uh, Synactive. This is an offensive security company based in France, and we are hiring. So just ask. Don't uh, don't afraid to ask or send a resume. Uh, I am a reverse uh, at, uh, at daytime and uh, usually, usually I spend time in front of uh, Ida, but uh, today uh, we won't talk about this. Uh, today uh, the talk is about web security or lack of security. If uh, you are a pen tester or web administrator, uh, you must have seen lots of weird logs, a uh, lot of weird files on your, on your web route. Uh, uh, everybody has dealt with at least one phishing links uh, once received by email and so on. Today it's the, the subject of the talk. And, uh, one last word before starting. Uh, time I have spent uh, since the, the submission of this talk, uh, as you know, uh, presentation was delayed, like uh, two years, uh, COVID, so on, you heard of it. Uh, so some timestamps uh, may be old on this uh, presentation, but everything is uh, still true. I uh, kept up to date uh, some uh, screenshots and so on, so uh, everything is okay. So. Uh, imagine, just uh, imagine you are a bad guy and uh, you want to deliver all of your malware, all of your spam, all of your payloads and you really don't want to be worried of it. If your website is taking down or if law enforcement comes in or things like that. So instead of hosting uh, all of those files in your system, uh, why not using web servers belonging to others? They pay the hostings, they, they will be in trouble if something goes wrong, so it's really a platform of choice. And uh, sometimes web servers are poorly configured, so it's easy to them to sneak in and put all of the uh, data, all of the payloads. So, Let's see, uh, you see this is a French restaurant, really, really nice. Uh, this uh, restaurant has a blog and uh, the last uh, blog, the last articles uh, are not about food. This is not about a restaurant. This is not about advertisement. Uh, if you click on it, you end up with a ransomware on your, on your, on your computer. Or another one, uh, as you can see, this uh, web server uh, delivers spam. And uh, if you know Bigo, uh, please don't uh, don't put uh, anything personal on that. Uh, it will be uh, stored by a bad guy and re reused against you. And you have uh, many other uh, many other fish links, as you can see. Uh, Dragon, EMVU, uh, PayPal, you must know it. Uh, and if you put your login and password on this PayPal page, uh, you will quickly uh, lose all of your money. Uh, I said that uh, usually it's a web server poorly configured and uh, please don't blame uh, the admin. Uh, everybody knows uh, security is hard. Uh, usually they have no time to patch. Uh, it's done uh, eventually by uh, people not uh, uh, still in uh, tech. Uh, so it's hard on uh, this talk. I, I don't want to, uh, to blame those admin. I have a personal story. Uh, right uh, near my uh, home, there is a theater. Uh, this theater still have a blog, a website. This theater uh, doesn't exist anymore for maybe a five or six years, but uh, their, their website is still up. There is nobody, no admin, nothing. It's uh, totally obsolete, uh, filled up with vulnerability, and uh, they are fishing even on, on it. But uh, as long as the DNS and web server is up, uh, people will, will use it. it. 
but uh, we can turn this uh, into an advantage for us uh, because uh, uh, it turns out that a lot of the bad guys don't, doesn't know uh, basic security in Azure. Uh, they use a poorly uh, secured web server, so they are poorly secured. They let directory listing enabled, they use bad passwords too, they reuse and use and reuse the same and lame technique, uh, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, uh, really, really, we can take advantage of them. And uh, what can we do? Uh, yeah, we can uh, dork, uh, Google dork, uh, usual things, uh, as you can see. So, uh, we won't uh, hack uh, ourselves a uh, host, uh, we just uh, will try to find those uh, hacked websites on the internet. Uh, Google, uh, Google is a, is a efficient uh, search uh, website, uh, it's uh, good, vile, uh, hard to say. Uh, but uh, Google uh, used to hide some results. So uh, you will have to fight a bit against Google to find uh, really, really interesting results. As an example, I will show you. Uh, sometimes you could search uh, for uh, access.log uh, file because you can learn a lot, a lot of information from a weblog from uh, the, the, the access log. And if you search uh, with an easy search access log with a log extension, there is 853 results. Uh, no, that's not, uh, that's not, uh, that's incredible. There must be more, more than that. And if you look at the file, the first uh, one is really not an access log file. And if you know, uh, if you refine a bit your, your searches, uh, now you have 14,000 uh, results. That's really, really better. And as you can see, this is a real access.log file. So uh, you have really to uh, dork uh, Google in order to, to bypass all of the blacklist. Another, uh, another example, if you want to find a data leak of uh, emails and password, uh, if you search uh, for a leaked, leaked email or password leaks or things like that, you won't, won't get anywhere. But if you search for uh, this uh, hash, eaten IDC uh, and so on, you will find a lot uh, of leaks. Uh, why? Because uh, the worst, worst password of all time is 1234567. And uh, uh, use uh, a bad hashing algorithm, but used a lot is MD5. So uh, imagine that a uh, hacker is uh, leaking, uh, hacking a database, uh, a database, there is a high probability that at least one uh, person has used uh, the 123456 password. So uh, the uh, pirate, the bad guy, will get uh, this uh, hash uh, in its files. It will, uh, he will store the leak on a website with the TXT uh, extension. And with that, you can find uh, a lot of leaks uh, put, put by, the, by the pirates. And uh, with good dogs, you will find a lot, a lot of uh, hacking material. You can search when you when you know what your name. You can still search for the name. It works. It still works. You can also search for upload deals. Uh, as you can imagine, a hacker uh, will try to put its data when upload is uh, authorized. So uh, find upload deals. Find open deal uh, because you can see all the files in it. You can use Google, but also various total UL scan and so on. There are a lot of uh, entry points to find uh, uh, materials and uh, go, uh, you can even use Archive or uh, go back in time. Uh, sometimes uh, web server I, uh, are not white, just DNS that are unconfigured and you can still uh, get files with uh, these little tricks with a curl where you put the IP and the uh, host name of the web server. 
you can search uh, like uh, a bad guy. I imagine that uh, you want to put a web shell or a attack file on a web server. Uh, you are lazy, so uh, you put only one, one character on your file. Uh, so you, you write uh, x.php or cmd.php or dd. Uh, you, you understand the, uh, the ID. Uh, or if you want to find phishing kits, uh, it's easy. Uh, just try PayPal.zip or Bank.zip or uh, things like that. Netflix, Bank of America, uh, ev uh, everything like that, and you will find a lot of uh, phishing kits. Let uh, see example. Uh, this website uh, has a Pix uh, directory. And as you can see, there are a lot of files, and some files don't look like at all uh, as images. Uh, for example, uh, the dangshell.php.jpg is really, really suspicious. So uh, try to download it, uh, try to open it, uh, and I can say, uh, obviously, it's not a JPEG file, uh, it's PHP code, offensive, and you can try the other one. If you are a pen tester, you know those tricks uh, in order to upload files, uh, up upload PHP files uh, on uh, prohibited directories. Uh, you will find some of, the, some of them. The, the file uh, either JPEG on the bottom of the, the screen uh, is uh, suspicious too. So uh, download, download those files, uh, read them, uh, understand them, and uh, find what's happening. And quickly, uh, you can find uh, that kind of file, that web shell. Uh, really nice uh, web shell by uh, Foxbase. Uh, you have a lot of uh, information. I put my, uh, my mouse. Uh, here you can put a uh, Linux command. It will execute it. And you can upload files. Uh, you can browse di directories. You have some information. Is MySQL on? No. Uh, CURL? No. WGET? Yes. Uh, and so on, and so on, and so on. And you will find also a lot of file manager. Uh, you can upload file, download file, or edit file. Uh, that's uh, that could be useful for attackers. You can find uh, old, old, old uh, things like a Perlbot. Let's uh, let's uh, go through it. And uh, another web shell. Uh, this is a web shell full of uh, capabilities. As you can see, you can uh, upload data, execute command, deface, a lot of config, uh, grab SMTP, uh, try to uh, modify WordPress, and so on and so on. So, uh, shell finder, zip menu, code inject. Uh, that, that gives you an idea of what bad guys uh, can do or are trying to do. And you find uh, yeah, another web shell called NetShell for this one, for uh, Emperor. I think undetectable uh, is not true because I found it uh, relatively easily. And if you see here, you have a C99, you have a key for the PHP, op.php, which is uh, other uh, file, other attacker files. And uh, still uh, another web shell. I have uh, tons of that. Uh, here is another one. Uh, I, I, I found. You can find, uh, as I said, a lot of leaks. Uh, this one is not so old. It's uh, 2021, June, uh, from June. And I like the, the comments uh, on top of it. As you can see, uh, don't abuse it. Uh, well. <laughs> That's fun. And uh, you will find a lot of those files, but uh, Google uh, can be clever, and uh, Google knows the tricks, and uh, Google doesn't, doesn't want to be used to find those files. So uh, you will be uh, captured. Uh, you will see a lot, a lot of uh, captcha. So as an example, you, if you try web shell uh, like that, you will get a captcha uh, immediately. Try the, the real name of the web shell, not web shell. And uh, all of the so-called best dork of 2020, 2021 you can find. If you found a dork that you didn't uh, invent, uh, there is high probability that you won't get any results or you will uh, get uh, some on a pot. Uh, uh, you will get some uh, uh, no answers 
and you, you can get other pots. Uh, this is capture. So those capture, you will uh, have some. Uh, you will have to answer a lot, a lot of uh, this. And uh, this is a honeypot. Uh, this is quickly, uh, you can quickly find this is a uh, honeypot because it has a lot of capture inside the file. Uh, the title is index of password. Uh, you can imagine a hacker will try that to find password. But there is a file type dot SQL uh, in your main the PHP. Welcome to PHP my admin Russian uh, words uh, MySQL dump uh, index of actually uh, and so on and so on and so on. Dot quick that's really a, a honeypot. Dot, so don't click on that. You won't learn anything. Uh, and, uh, some researcher that put this honeypot won't understand why you came here. And uh, once you have uh, access, uh, you can boost uh, to find other other access because uh, usually uh, when a host a web server is uh, badly configured, uh, bad guys come, but another bad guy can come in and another one, another one, and uh, so on. And uh, even sometimes on a cheap hoster, uh, all hosts are infected. And uh, if you can browse file system and find logs, uh, browse the logs and uh, grep, grep the logs, you will find other web share. Let's show an example. Uh, back in time, in uh, 2018, I found, uh, I found a fish uh, about finance public, which is the French uh, taxes. And uh, don't click on the, on the gov uh, v, uh, directory because you, you won't pay your taxes. That's not for that. And uh, I went through uh, DNS, uh, passive DNS uh, sites, and I look all other hosts uh, which point to this uh, IP. And I found one which was called login, uh, which is quite interesting. If you see what is in this login uh, host, uh, we find another uh, files, uh, one called lux.php, and if you look at the timestamp, uh, the lux.php, it's uh, 12 of July 2018, and if you go back, you can see that the phishing of the, of the finance public was the 14th of July. So we can think that uh, the, the bad guy came first in the 12th of July, and the uh, lux s the php is uh, you you guess what is a web shell so uh, we can imagine that he put its web shell there and uh, after he begins to create a host and uh, put all of uh, its phishing uh, data and uh, uh, get uh, its results and the 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 file, uh, the other file, bbb.php, is uh, yes, it's another phishing for uh, I uh, I forget the, the the website, but it's uh, another phishing site. And quickly, uh, quickly, you can grab and you can store a lot of these uh, pirate uh, files, pirate data, and uh, this uh, one dot five gigabytes of uh, data was uh, scrapped in uh, around four weeks. Uh, of googling, download, uh, downloads, and uh, googling again, and downloads, and uh, get all of these files. So that's really quite a lot, a lot of files. Now that we have all of those files, uh, clearly we can uh, analyze all of these uh, files, and the uh, oldest uh, ones are Pullbot. That's uh, maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, uh, bots were written in pearls, they connect to RSC networks, uh, but uh, they are not used anymore. But it's uh, crazy that you can still find uh, all of those files on web server. You can find c99.php uh, web shell, but uh, they are quite old and they are not really used anymore because they, ha they lack uh, password protection. And uh, there are a lot of people who connect to those uh, web shell and uh, destroy them or change them or remove them. Uh, so today, a uh, lot, uh, lot of uh, web shell are password protected. Uh, you have to find a way to, to break the password or learn the password. 
but they can live longer because uh, people uh, can't abuse them. And uh, we can see more and more file managers, uh, less and less web shell, and more and more only file manager. And more and more uh, really, really minimalist web shell. Uh, sometimes it's just an uploader. You just can, there are two files, one up.php and unzip.php. So you can upload uh, zip, fi zip files and uh, unzip them on the web route. And uh, as I said, you, uh, you will find more and more uh, password protection. And if you look uh, in the in the data, uh, yes, it's PHP, PHP, PHP. Uh, I have some uh, ASP web shell, but really it's uh, negligible. You have a lot, a lot of PHP uh, that's a victim of choice for uh, bad guys. And when you dig a little in the files, uh, you have a lot of uh, web shell. Uh, there are a lot of different web shell, as you saw in the print screen I uh, show, show you, but they f for each web shell, you have millions of copies. Uh, the bad guys usually change the name, and that's all. And uh, they, say, they, they say it's our web shell, uh, proud to proud uh, things, proud that. But uh, if you diff the, the files, uh, you have one line or two lines. It's the title. Strangely, uh, they, change, they like to change the version too. So uh, you have a web shell uh, 0.4.3, and uh, when they change the name, they put the version 3.0. So I don't know. <laughs> that's not a real uh, upgrade, but uh, they like big number. And uh, that's the same with the phishing kits. They are a uh, lot copy pasted, uh, one through through another one, and with file manager. Uh, and the passwords uh, used are uh, usually bad. And uh, in the first part of this presentation, I talked about the password one, two, three, four, five, six. And for web shell, uh, it's usually cracking. Uh, so if you have just one shot, try cracking. And uh, you have a probability that you uh, get in. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know why you're cracking. Uh, we can imagine because they like to crack things, but uh, cracking. So uh, when, you, when you get uh, the PHP files, uh, usually it's easy to find uh, the password because developers uh, sometimes put the password in clear. So, uh, as you can see in the first uh, code snippet, the pass is hashed, so uh, it's uh, MD5. Uh, that's not a good uh, hashing algorithm, but it's written uh, at the right. So, easy to, easy to get in. If you have the source code of this, uh, of this web shell, connect to it, and uh, it's okay. The second one, uh, the second code snippet, is uh, even funnier because uh, you have it. So they didn't uh, take time to, uh, to calculate the MD5. Uh, they, put the, they put the function. So uh, good job, guys, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm in. The third uh, snippet is uh, fun, too, because this one, uh, I don't know why. Uh, you have a password uh, field, and uh, you have a H1 with the password here uh, written H1 uh, cracking. So uh, yes, you guess, the, you guess the password. You could put uh, this password here and uh, get in really, really easy. And uh, sometimes uh, you have some uh, bug door in the, in the web shell. So if you know the family, it's uh, quite easy to get in without any password. Uh, this one was fun, uh, it's here. Uh, at first you have a path, you have to put the path in the URL, but uh, if you don't have the path, the, the pass, if you just have a uh, header, HTTP header L called L, you are in. So uh, this uh, password protection is not really, really effective. And uh, as I said, sometimes uh, hackers uh, are not really uh, good on the left a lot of tracks, so they try to upload x.php, they fail, so they try x.php.txt, so just click on the x.php.txt and you have uh, the source code, uh, same as a JPEG, GIF, and so on, and so on, and so on. Uh, so password protection is not really, really a problem. 
and uh, about, uh, about about the use of uh, that uh, this is uh, this was a phishing uh, the phishing uh, get a telephone number the credit card uh, expiration date uh, and uh, and everything and it was uh, uh, normally uh, it it should be uh, sent by email and I think that the developer of the phishing kit put a really clear uh, message here, uh, here with comments, and the people who uh, were uh, using this uh, this phishing kit didn't understand uh, that and uh, didn't change anything. And this was a total failure, I think, uh, because this email doesn't exist. Uh, that's uh, that's also funny. And uh, about the, the millions of uh, copies of the web shell, uh, coding a real web shell uh, could be hard. Uh, so uh, people copy, copy paste, uh, reuse them, and uh, be careful because uh, web shell uh, are backdoor. Uh, I've seen uh, web shell backdoor twice, uh, and even uh, backdoor in the backdoor. So uh, I have lot of a question about that why why do you backdoor backdoor uh, what it's for uh, what's the use for that and, uh, how how do you see it's a backdoor because on the web shell you have a lot of uh, PHP stuff and you have a string a long string uh, basic for the code and in this long string if you look on the PHP code uh, you can see that uh, this sends the, the host the password and the URL where the web shell is. So it means that anybody which copy this web shell, put that on a new web server, a mail is sent to another person uh, telling, telling him that the web shell has been deployed uh, somewhere. So he can uh, go back, steal the web shell. Uh, too, bad, too bad for them. But uh, are uh, those bad guys really lame in security? Uh, not at all. They get, they get better and better, uh, slowly better, uh, and they go. As I said uh, back in time, they weren't any password. Today, they put uh, some password. And they use uh, some techniques. They use a lot of HTXS files. Uh, files called antibots. Uh, they can send fake for four pages. They check some headers sometimes. They put Boomser to uh, throw you away if you don't have uh, some data or some uh, variables. And uh, they learned uh, about scrambling PHP obfuscation and all of this. That's not uh, obfuscation, it's not really efficient, but uh, you just have to uh, be motivated. Uh, this is an example. Uh, this is an anti crawler uh, because the, I think the guy don't want to be uh, to be crawled by uh, Google and other bots. And, uh, if he detects in the in the user agent uh, here in the user agent, he just send uh, for for not found and uh, with a nice message for people. Uh, and for the uh, empty uh, files, empty, empty some things, uh, this one has uh, eight different files uh, based on the same uh, ID. All of those IP are uh, banned, and uh, you can connect if you came from one of those IPs. And uh, another one with uh, another nice, uh, nice or crude uh, language, crude message for uh, people who looks at it. Uh, sometimes it's uh, also fun with a uh, nice ASCII art. I like it. Good code. And the HTXS uh, files uh, are sometimes small, sometimes really, really big. Uh, that's usually a con concatenation of uh, many HTXS files. That's poor quality. Uh, they are even uh, false, but the comments can be uh, really fun. Uh, when you see Leecher, or I don't like you, or uh, he's not sure if it's MSI or Google, but uh, he blocked it anyway. And uh, the best defense uh, those, uh, those people have uh, is uh, passwords. Uh, yes. And uh, back in time, sometimes you could find uh, those uh, really, really minimalist web shell. Uh, the, the first one, uh, you just system the CMD uh, parameter. Uh, so if you uh, so uh, back 
if you found a small file called z.php or x.php with a very, very little size, and when you click on it, you don't have any output, try uh, cmd equals ls, and if you have uh, an output, uh, that's it. But more and more, uh, today they use uh, that, uh, this, uh, this little trick, very, very effective. If you don't know the, uh, a, the first uh, get variable and the post uh, name, uh, you can't use it, you can't uh, abuse it, and uh, it's random, so even if you found one, uh, you can't use another, uh, another website, uh, and it's uh, bad for us uh, to see what they are doing. But uh, we can uh, question ourselves uh, how, how did they come in uh, at first place? Sometimes it's really easy, uh, it's only guess, because uh, we don't make a digital forensic incident weapons. Uh, and sometimes it's really easy. Uh, you have uh, vulnerable stuff, uh, really, really old WordPress website, or website with uh, an auto of gear, but sometimes it's uh, harder because you don't have really a lot of uh, things, so we can guess it's uh, SSH brute force, maybe other host when uh, you have virtual hostings or uh, any other vector unknown, uh, but we, don't, uh, we, we, we won't make uh, an incident response to learn uh, why and how they came. I, uh, during during uh, all of this scrapping, uh, sometimes you can find in uh, real-time uh, hackers and uh, bad guys entering a machine. So let's see uh, what happens on a, on a hacked web server. And uh, I was lucky because I had a file manager on a host, and this file manager was able to uh, read all of the files on other host. So, uh, I saw uh, day, the first day uh, somebody putting uh, Windows malware with a low score on various total and each morning for a week uh, there, there was a new uh, exe, files, uh, exe file put on uh, that uh, host and uh, each morning uh, I, I, I checked it on a various total and it was a very very low score and uh, in the evening uh, the score uh, slowly was rising up, so uh, antivirus uh, did uh, the job, and I think that each day the, uh, the malware author uh, recompiles or changes uh, little uh, bits on its malware to remain undetectable. And uh, it stayed quiet another time, and uh, we have a latent uh, phishing campaign, quite successful, there were uh, some hits in this uh, phishing campaign, and the, the next day, it was another phishing campaign uh, we ha which had uh, no hits at all. And after that, it was a chaos, total chaos. Uh, a lot of directories uh, were uh, treated, a lot of fish kits uh, half installed, half baked. Uh, it was uh, horrific. Uh, and uh, the, the day 15, everything was wiped. And uh, the same day after the wipe, the web server was uh, deactivated. I think that uh, the, the, at first, bad guy found that, uh, used it for uh, something, and uh, he shared uh, this web server, and uh, I think he shared the web server on a forum, and uh, everybody came in, and everybody did, uh, did uh, bad things, and the admin uh, saw all of this traffic, and uh, he trashed everything. And about those uh, phishing, uh, you can find a lot of uh, fish kits. Sometimes they are uh, not configured, uh, sometimes they are trojanized, sometimes you can find uh, the results uh, on the server, so anybody can uh, find all of the credit cards, all of the email, all of the passwords, sometimes with no result. I think this is, uh, this is a different economy. I think that people make money by selling phishing kits instead of making money by using phishing kits. And uh, sometimes you can find that, so I blurred uh, the text files because with that name you can find all of those text files. And uh, these fish kits, uh, you have the email, uh, username, address, city and that, uh, CC, uh, credit card, expiration months, expiration year, and uh, you, you have all that. Uh, so if you use this phishing kit, 
anybody will get your results. And uh, about uh, maybe the, the marketing uh, of, the, of uh, those fishing kits, we can see this. Uh, PayPal new 2021 full, uh, yeah, uh, seems good. Uh, it's a good one. But uh, if you unzip and uh, you see all the, all the timestamps, uh, no, uh, it's not a 2021 um, brand new uh, fishing PayPal uh, fish kit. It's odd thing. Uh, you've been tricked if you I if you boot it. Uh, that's too bad for you. And uh, if you want to if you want to to find a lot a lot of fish kits, uh, you will be disappointed because uh, it's not really uh, fun to 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 read when you when you read three or four uh, fish uh, fishing kit. It's always the same. But uh, if you're quick enough, sometimes you see all the hits, and uh, it can be fun to watch uh, that. And uh, when you find fish kits, uh, sometimes, well, sometimes, really often you find uh, all of the family of Mirai, Gavgit, and so on. Uh, you have all of those bots. Uh, you can download them, you can reverse them, uh, see what's happening here, uh, you can follow the, the CNC. Uh, that's uh, that, that's fun too, but uh, quickly quickly uh, it's uh, not fun anymore. And uh, exceptionally, once in a while, uh, you can find a real new malware uh, variant uh, with strong code. And, uh, I found uh, not so fun, uh, really really interesting uh, file. Uh, I found only one blog uh, telling it was troll trash, but uh, maybe maybe not, and it was really really well hidden. Uh, sometimes you can find uh, web files uh, with the timestamp uh, when uh, WordPress uh, theme is uploaded. All the all the date is the same. If one date, it's, if one timestamp is different, uh, it's uh, look look at it. But uh, for this one, uh, it was a full WordPress theme uploaded, so no timestamp. The PHP code is uh, is well hidden, uh, and the MD5 password uh, is used as seed. So as you can see, this is the this is the file. Uh, at first, uh, nothing uh, nothing weird. Uh, it's called two bar uh, API uh, WP admin bar uh, in it, something like, like that. But if you uh, go a little deeper, uh, you find that. So uh, let's start with the with the last line. It's WP key says data. It's a real uh, WordPress uh, variable. It's a bit long, so it's a strange. And if you look this function pre admit bar, key says uh, string uh, MD5, but uh, base64 decode uh, that's that's suspicious. The GZ inflate is really really suspicious, and uh, if you uh, take the time to analyze this function. Uh, it will it will use the password to decrypt this file and execute the PHP code. Uh, I try to brute force uh, the password without uh, luck at the moment, uh, so I really don't know uh, what the what this file uh, is doing, and uh, I'm working on it. So. Uh, you found uh, you found uh, you found a host with uh, all of those files. Those warning admin works uh, sometimes in send mail when uh, it's obvious or, or really really uh, nasty. And uh, I think I can count on one hand the answers. The I have a case where uh, I received an email three years after uh, sending uh, the warning email. And uh, the guy will say uh, thank you, but uh, yeah, geodo, for three years, uh, that's a lot of time. But uh, if you look more closely, uh, when you send an email, sometimes you don't have answers, but uh, the files uh, disappear, so I think it's a good one. And uh, if you try to look uh, at who are they, uh, I use the word bad guys a lot in this presentation. So who are those uh, bad guys? Uh, I think there are many, uh, they use cheat techniques, uh, but as long as it works, uh, they will continue uh, to attack web server, they will continue, just because uh, you know it works, uh, it's effective, and as I said at first, uh, they don't host anything, so uh, they continue. 
and uh, if you are an admin, uh, as usual, it's uh, always the same ideas, uh, terminate all server, patch, give password, uh, ask for an audit, and etc. Et 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 and uh, there are a lot of uh, very, very good uh, examples of uh, if you have a web server, try this, uh, grep, uh, and if you have uh, results, on this regex, uh, I have bad news for you because uh, it's 99% sure that it's an evil file and you have to uh, to erin it. And to conclude uh, this presentation, is there a turning point? Uh, I think uh, yes, uh, landscape is evolving. Uh, there are less and less personal web servers. On the internet, uh, there are a lot uh, more uh, Facebook pages, uh, host websites, uh, as I showed at first, the restaurant hosting its uh, blog and its uh, website doesn't really exist anymore. anymore. Maybe there are uh, less and less PHP uh, on the internet, and uh, I think that pirates are better at hiding. There are a lot of exposure, there are a lot of trackers, uh, websites, uh, as I said, the URL scan, uh, virus total, a lot of personal trackers, of people who follow bots, who follow attackers. So I think they learn uh, to hide and uh, they stay, uh, I think, no uh, less uh, time active. And uh, don't get uh, to the false idea that uh, attackers are lame. Uh, you find the lamest, they are uh, a lot, uh, you will find them a lot, but the, the good one and the better one are really, really harder to take. Uh, Google uh, helps you to find all of those uh, people and uh, Google fights you uh, by blacklisting all of the words, all of your dorks uh, slowly, so uh, it's hard uh, to find them. And for a uh, final word, uh, I'm not a lawyer, uh, I don't think that bad guys will sue you because you use the web shell, but it may be uh, illegal to do this, uh, so uh, use Tor, uh, use Kelly in live mode, in a van, in a burner laptop, and uh, be, be careful. So, uh, thank you. Uh, do you have any uh, question? Uh, I'm here to answer if you have any. Thank you.